Number four, what is the change in internal energy of a system which does 4.5 times 10 to the 5 joules of work while 3 times 10 to the 6 joules of heat transfer occurs into the system and 8 times 10 to the 6 joules of heat transfer occurs to the environment? All right. So now, uh, please check out number two, by the way. I go through a detailed discussion. I give you a table there about all the signage and whatnot. I like to look at this formula, change in internal energy of a system will be equal to the change in internal energy. So I can plug in, I keep saying change, but I don't plug in the, the delta sign. So let me just keep doing that. The change in internal energy of a system is equal to the change in heat energy of a system plus the change in work energy, basically, of a system. All right. So this is the formula I like to use. Now remember, anytime you're dealing with a formula, you gotta be consistent. So if I'm talking, if I wanna find the change in internal energy of a system, meaning I wanna find this, that means I better know the change in heat energy of the system. And then I need to know the change in work energy of the system. You have to be consistent, all right? So now, if that's the case, I know I'm solving for delta U, okay? So let's now, plug in our values appropriately. It says the system is doing or doing work, right? It's work is being done by the system. If it's doing work, right? Um, it does 4.5 times 10 to the five joules of work. All right, so that's the only work in the problem. The other things are heat transfers, right? Okay, so I know that my change, let me give myself a little room here. I know that my change in work here is going to be negative for the system because the work is doing, excuse me, the system is doing work on some other object. So the system has to be losing that energy, right? If you do work, if you do work on something else, if you do work to pick up your pen, you're losing energy, okay? You're the system, you're losing energy. So hopefully that makes sense. So uh, negative 4.5 times 10 to the 5, all right, that's in joules. Now, it says while, right, at the same time, three times 10 to the six joules of heat transfer occurs into the system. That means the system is gaining this heat energy, right? So now when I think of my delta Q, I'm going to plug that in as a positive value because it's gaining. Remember, check out number two, I gave you a table. So I already noticed I'm going to probably run out of a little space. So let me move that over. So this is going to be three... 0 0.00 times 10 to the sixth. Okay, great. And then it says also, eight times 10 to the six joules of heat transfer occurs to the environment. Think about that. Remember, I said all this whole formula, if I wanna find the internal energy change of the system, I gotta know the change in heat energy of the system, right? Plus the work energy change of the system. So this sounds to me, when it says that heat transfer occurs to the environment, that means the system has to be losing energy. Right? How's the environment gaining energy? Well, it's coming from the system. So the system's losing energy, right? You, and you, I know the term system, you're like, what? What system? A system is just a general name for, it's a good question though, but a system is just a general name for any item. I'm kind of talking, pretend, you know, I have a pot. I don't, it looks like a foot, but pretend I have a pot on the stove, okay? And I say that heat energy from this system is being transferred to the environment, meaning into the room. Well, that means that from the perspective of the pot, meaning the system I defined here, it's losing heat energy. Okay, so it's all relative. All right, so that basically means that I now need to subtract, right, the eight, because it's a negative value, it's losing heat. I'm going to forget the uh, zeros there. Eight times 10 to the sixth, okay, joules. And now literally all you got to do is just add it up, okay? The signage is very important here, as you can see. So three times 10 to the sixth minus eight times 10 to the sixth. And then plus a negative, so minus 4.5 times 10 to the fifth. And what do we get? So we get negative now 5.45 times 10 raised to the, looks like three, four, five, six, right? Looks like 10 to the six, and that is in terms of joules. So this tells us that the internal energy of the system is decreasing. Why? Well, because it's letting out more energy than it's taking in. That's basically that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, remember to check out number two, and uh, please help us out, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.